So this is model 732 version 19 and it's the 11200 in the colours of the Brazilian company Macro. Inside the shipping carton is the Liebherr branded box and it's quite big and heavy and it's a bit of a job just to get the contents out. So we'll take the lid off the top tray first and have a look inside and there's the first of the parts and in the second tray there are plenty more parts. But wait there's more because in the third tray there's two big parts. And a feature of this model is the excellent protective packaging and here it is on the crane. And it's good that there are spare parts included, such as mirrors and lights. To help with the assembly there's a fairly comprehensive instruction sheet. And that also shows you some of the possible configurations of the crane. Other versions of this crane have been reviewed before so we won't be going through a full assembly in this review. But we will get it ready for displaying as transport loads. And to do that we just need to attach the flexible guys to the boom. These are secured at each end by tiny brass nuts and bolts. And you don't need 1 to 50 scale fingers to do the job because tools are provided to help you manage the very small parts. These brass nuts and bolts do make very good connections. And they are used in a number of different places on the model. Once the guys are all connected up you can close the Y guy arrangement back down and then the boom is ready to be used as a separate load. Because the real crane boom is so heavy it has to travel separately. So here we have a heavy haulage truck ready but we need some boom supports and here at Cranes Etc no expense is spared as handcrafted boom supports made out of Lego are provided. Once they're in place you've got a good looking truck load. And there's also another good looking load out of the box. And that's the large lattice jib which comes with the crane. Again once you have it carefully positioned on the truck you have a good looking load. Before we get into the detail this model has a high metal content so let's see how much it weighs. And on the cranes etc weigh bridge the carrier comes in at over 2 kilograms or about 5 pounds. And the boom is another 2.5 kilos or 5.5 pounds. And all of that is without considering any counterweight. On with the detail and the chassis is good with the drive shafts represented and there are also tanks modelled. And a nice touch is the tyres which have Michelin moulded in the sidewalls. Also very good are the macro graphics which are very sharp and look attractive. Detailing on the carrier deck is very good and the heavy outrigger beams are convincing. The crane has got textured walkways and metal handrails and the winch drums look good. The counterweight blocks are heavy castings, they're nicely formed and they've got nice sharp graphics. The main boom rams have got plastic jackets but the colour match is very good and there's also graphics applied. There are three hooks included and this is the biggest. And it's all metal. Also nice are the metal pulleys which are used throughout. This model has been reviewed previously so we'll take a look at some of the features. And there's individual steering and suspension on each of the nine axles. And the model does a good job rolling in a straight line with most of the wheels grounded properly. If you then take the trouble to set the steering on each of the nine axles, the model traces a convincing curve. This is a heavy model so let's give a different test on the suspension. And here we see it in action as the crane drives along. Each axle rises independently as it goes over the bump in the road. Now the Cranes Etc team will take a quick look at how the crane attaches itself to the boom.
Once you've got the crane set up, it can be posed lifting. And here it's lifting a heavy vessel, also known as an NZG mug. The crane cab is interesting, it's fully articulated. And there's no need to worry when you want to go home, you just lower the cab to the ground. The outriggers are strong enough to hold the model wheels free. And despite the heavy loads, the crane turns smoothly. Yes, it's a genuine imitation real life test. And it's time for some load testing, and here we've set the radius at 28 centimetres, which is 14 metres. So in this configuration with a short boom, we can take a look at the load chart, and the capacity is 189 tonnes. So here is the crane set up, and the boom is just supported by friction in the rams. And we'll start with just a small load of four 10 tonne blocks. And oh dear, it's a fail. And that shows us that this model needs metal rams with a lockable extension. So to continue the load test, we'll provide an engineering adjustment, which is a locking bar, and that will prevent the rams bleeding down. Now we'll add 18 10 tonne blocks, and that gives us roughly the load in the load chart. And the crane is fine with that. So what we're looking for here is for either the crane to start tipping over, or the failure of some other part. So here we are, we keep adding on load, and it's good to see that the crane is rock solid, and that's true even up to a load of 420 tonnes, which is well over the rated load of 189 tonnes. Another great way to display the model is for wind turbine erection. And if you want to go fully larger with this model, you can extend it to something really big. And at the maximum, it's around 2.5 metres, or 8 feet tall. This model from NZG is one of the very best large crane models. And this limited edition in the colours of macro looks great, and only 100 have been made. This crane is a great piece of model engineering. It's got great detail and is very well made, so overall it's easily an outstanding model.